In this video, we are going to see about the routing information protocol RIP version 2 and uh, which is a routing dynamic routing protocol. So, uh, this is a topology I have already created and also I have uh, enabled all the links here, all, all the interfaces. Now, uh, uh, this is uh, RIP version 2 has a classless addressing, right? So, here we can see prefix is 30 here, that means that uh, on a hold of 32 bits, 30 bits will be uh, once and the remaining uh, 2 bits will be. Uh, uh, two is will be given to the host, so that is the classes addressing here. So uh, first we will uh, configure in the router one. <coughs> that is we have to enable go into the configure terminal and uh, give the same uh, router RIP. <coughs> and uh, now now we need to mention this version two version two, and uh, we have to give the network addresses of the all the links that are directly connected to the router 1 so the first link is fa0/0 that is 192.168.10.0 the second one is uh, the serial 2/0 interface that is 209.165.200.232 and uh, third link is 192.168.1.0 these three links are directly connected to the router 1 and that's it now we're going to give n and that's about the uh, router one now we're going to configure the router two we're going to get into the cli tab and enable configure terminal and uh here we you need to give the command router rip in the same uh, version two and the network addresses of all the links that are directly connected to the router two first one is the fa0 zero slash zero that is 10.1.0.0 network the second one is uh, the serial 2 slash 0 that is 209.165.200.232 network and the third one is uh, 200.228 network right so in game n and that's it about the router 2 now we are going to configure router 3 enable configure terminal and the same router rip command and uh, here we are going to give version 2 and we are going to give the network addresses of all the links that are directly connected to the router 3 first one is fa0 slash 0 interface that is 172.30.100.0 network and uh, the next one is the serial 2 slash 0 interface 192.168.1.0 third one is uh, serial 3 slash 0 interface that is 209.165.200.228 that's it now we are going to give end now we are going to check the routing tables of uh, each of the routers as you can see uh, both these links uh, are unknown to this router one that is 10. Dot Zero dot, uh, this network and uh, this 172.30.0.0 network that is uh, this network and uh, those are added uh, dynamically using the RIP version 2 protocol and uh, the same is the case with the remaining routers as well we are going to check the routing tables and we can see the three networks which are unknown to this uh, router 2 have been added into its routing table the same will be the case with this router as well can see that these three networks which are unknown to this router have been added to the routing table now we're going to check the connectivity between the routers sorry uh, between the, uh, the hosts we're going to ping between the pc1 and uh, pc2 here now we're in the simulation mode It's first time it may fail because uh, it has uh, basically it searches for the uh, this possible route between the host right so we'll try once more now it is uh, moving now it has left the router too
now we can see the packet uh, has been routed back successfully to the the 192.168.10 nodes of network now it is successful and uh, in real time also we can check so we now we'll ping between pc0 and this uh, network pc well now we'll try once again successful so this is how uh, we can configure uh, all the routers uh, we can configure dynamic routing for all the routers using rip version 2 protocol thanks for watching